Hello and welcome to the garden. My name is Lindsay and today is the very first week of our weekly garden tours for the summer garden. It is, today is May 31st. Today I'm shooting this. Um, it will be up at some point this week when you are seeing this. And normally I would have shot a couple garden tours at this point, but because the garden looks like this, um, I have been putting it off and waiting. But everything out here is starting to really come into it. There are a few things that don't look as good as I would like, but that's okay. I'm in a new space. It's bound to happen. So I'm going to take you around tonight and kind of show you what I have going on. This is still very much a work in progress. Um, it is nowhere near what I want it to be, but it is growing food and it is growing faster than I expected. So let's get started. Um, this year's garden tours might be a little bit different just because I have so much more space. So I'm going to try out a couple things on a couple different garden tour videos and kind of see what works best for me and what you guys like the most. I don't have everything labeled like the variety. Um, I have all my tomatoes labeled. I know what is what but I don't have like any of my peppers labeled. I know which varieties I have, but I don't know which plants are what <laughs> necessarily, which now that I'm thinking about it, probably not the smartest thing I've ever done in my life. But um, yes, the garden is mostly planted. I am still going to be planting some things like direct sowing some more beans and succession sowing some more lettuces and things like that. But for now, end of May, week one, full garden tour, let's do it. I'm gonna go back to the entrance gate and that's where we're gonna start. So just for like a quick overview shot, this is my garden. This whole space, um, including where the greenhouse is and back in this landscaping and where this tree is, is about 1,600 square feet. Now, obviously, I don't have all of it planted. It is not 100% planted with uh, plants or, I mean, this none of this stuff makes food. This is all just landscaping um, and the greenhouse is in here. But compared to what I had at our old house, this is like five times bigger. So this is the space um this is the main entrance to the space there is a cattle panel arch right here that has pole beans growing on it um i did have someone ask about the gates and i have two gates i have one double gate here and i have a single gate over here i will do a separate video about how we did this um and how we fenced and everything I never thought, I mean, I didn't think about shooting a video when we were doing it because we just wanted to get it done. So I will shoot another video about how we built these two gates. But for now, let's go in and get started on the tour. So right inside the gates, there is a zinnia here. This cattle panel arch, you'll notice most everything is covered in wild violets out here. Um, this side of this arch has some purple potted pole beans coming up. And if I turn this way, the other side has rattlesnake and Kentucky wonder beans. It's just some nice, steady, hardy varieties. Over here, I do have a little lavender. It's being overtaken by violets right now, but I'm working on <laughs> getting that taken care of. There is also a nasturtium over here. This is called Peach Melba, and I am pretty much obsessed with this flower. It is adorable. Now, I'm going to go back over here because I don't want to get you confused. If I go through this archway, there is another zinnia here. I couldn't tell you what variety it is. If I pan over to my left, behind this archway, this is where my cherry tomatoes live. Um, I'm doing eight cherry tomato plants this year. They are growing up cattle panel halves. So these are eight foot long panels. Um, I have them all in the ground and they are currently surrounded with some straw. And yesterday I came out and planted bush beans around all of these plants just as the companions and to help kind of break up the soil. This cardboard sh blew in from somewhere. So let's see, varieties, I have 
black cherry. I have another black cherry. I have a sun gold and a salisaw cafe. And the sun gold here has flowers on it and a few little tiny baby tomatoes, which is exciting. There's another zinnia right here. This one is the blonde girl cherry, blueberries cherry, Aunt Ruby's yellow, and Isis candy. These two also have flowers on them, it looks like. Very exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna turn back this way, and this mess, um, there is stuff planted here. Um, I have these four little kind of holes that I dug, and there are things planted in here. This is some crimson sweet watermelons. I will thin this out. And then down here are some Hales Jumbo cantaloupes. Again, I will thin this. If I go this way, I have some honey nut squash. And then back up here in this corner, I have delicata squash. Okay, now before I move on, I want to talk about this squash and rambling melons area. This is essentially just a square of the garden that I have dedicated to rambling vines and winter squash. So my plan is to have all these vines kind of overlap each other and grow around each other and help control the weeds and any grass regrowth that I might have. I do right now have it covered in cardboard and some extra mulch that I had. Um, but eventually I would like to plant this entire space with clover, especially in like the walking paths. Um, so my plan <laughs> is to plant that clover underneath those vines and have the vines help keep that from washing away in the rain or being eaten by birds etc so that's my plan um i don't know how well it's gonna work but we're gonna find out okay now we'll move on to the little raised beds this one down here has sweet potatoes in it and they are really starting to come into it um i was a little worried about them for a while because they were not looking very happy at all but they have started to perk back up and they are growing setting off new leaves. And I think before long, they're gonna have taken over this bed. There is also some radishes in here. This one has bolted and is going to seed. I am leaving it because I'm going to harvest the seeds. I'm going to be saving the seeds off of this. So I'm leaving it here so I can do that. This bed has potatoes in it. Oh, also, I don't know what the variety is of these sweet potatoes. So yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> the potatoes, these came from a grocery store bag of fingerling potatoes. Um, I planted some purple ones and some yellow ones, and you can tell which are which because these plants are more purple and they have purple blossoms. Those plants are very green and have the white blossoms. So purple potatoes, yellow potatoes. There's also some peas over here. I forgot I had these. This is why I do garden tours, you guys, so I remember what I have planted. Um, I planted peas. They don't look very good. It has been very hot here. So, oh look, this one's starting to set some flowers, so maybe they will do something. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, so this is potatoes mostly. Um, they are starting to flower. I did fertilize them, and they look very good, and I'm very happy with them. This next bed is onions. Um, I don't remember what these are called, the variety. I got them from Gurney's. They're, they are a white, or they're a yellow onion. This one is starting to send up its flower bulb, so I'm gonna pull that off. Let it put some energy back into bulb making. They are really starting to look good. We did have a pretty severe storm here last week, and some of the tops are starting to fall over, but they look really good. I'm really happy with them so far, and I can't wait to harvest these and see what they taste like. I'm so excited. Okay, this bed is kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. Um, I have some carrots in here. 
this is leeks um this is a celery there's a couple basils in here that aren't doing super hot and let's see this is um shallots that's what these things are shallots i do have my garlic in here but it is just straight not doing anything so yeah but the shallots look really really good and i'm really happy with how those are looking and then over here i have some poppies and this one did bloom but it has fallen off but i have a ton of buds on all of these plants this one back here looks like it's about to open up so that's exciting. I winter sowed these and I was not sure they were going to do anything, but it they, they are. And I am <laughs> very excited. Okay, now here's the greenhouse right here. In front of that, I did plant a zinnia and it looks pretty good. I need to come over here and mulch this area. Um, now back here, along the privacy fence, I have sunflowers. Now I have a few different varieties. I can't tell you what is what until they open up, but I know I have Italian white, Velvet Queen, Lemon Queen, Solar Power, and maybe one other one. Nope, I have Teddy Bear, but that's a dwarf and that's way down on the end. So those are the, the sunflowers I have. They should be about they should be over the privacy fence they should be able to be you know up here so that makes me happy um i did lose a couple in the storm we had last weekend but for the most part they really are starting to look good and get pretty tall so some of these sunflowers are about three feet tall now which is very exciting and makes me super happy some of them you'll see are kind of staked up because they got pushed over in the storm but they are coming back and they're doing great they really honestly look really good some of them have some beetle damage it looks like but they are pulling through now this archway right here has my little glider in it and it is planted with more decorative pole beans and what i mean by that is like these are not the high production beans necessarily um i have marvel of venice sunset runner um scarlet runner and just some purple potted on here as well because those are really beautiful and so what i'm hoping is that this archway will be covered in this multicolor of beans with multicolored flowers and all of that there is a zinnia right here and there is a mexican red torch sunflower right here looking happy now on the other side of this arch i have another zinnia and another peach milba nasturtium which is covered in blooms and back there i have a coleus that i shoved in the ground <laughs> because i didn't know where else to put it Okay, I'm gonna go this direction to my strawberry barrels. These are doing fantastic. Picking berries pretty much every single day at this point. Um, there is another zinnia tucked here in the grass. Now on our little A-frame here that we built, I have three tomato plants. They are looking a little rough, if I'm honest. Um, this one is a white Thomasol and you'll see the leaves on the top are a little puny and these on this carbon are even a little bit curled which is interesting to me um, and then i have a chianti rose here as well which is looking pretty similar they're just looking a little puny and i don't know if it's because we got so much rain or what because the tomatoes that are planted right back here and right over here are looking fabulous so i don't know what the deal is okay i'm gonna go back over here and show you these tomatoes because i just missed them so over here i have five tomatoes planted these are staked up one of them's in a cage this one is an aussie a little spindly but looking pretty healthy this one in this cage is a kellogg's breakfast and then i have a firebird here and here and another aussie these are all looking pretty good in here in this weird random spot where there's no grass um this is all full of basils 
This is all basils, different varieties, and they are really starting to look like basils. So that's exciting. And there is a zinnia in here as well. I have two more tomatoes up here. This one is a carbon looking very lush and happy and another Kellogg's breakfast. Like see how happy these plants look. This one's starting to set some flowers. And then I have two San Marzano's back here. Looking pretty good, pretty good. Over here on this short panel, I have some more. I have Aunt Ruby's German Green. I think I have three of those, yes. And then I have a triple crop down here on the end. And then we'll go back to the back panel of tomatoes. And, oh, by this gate, I have some dill, another basil, a couple basils, and there's a coleus in here somewhere. I don't know. I have an Abe Lincoln. Oh, I have two Abe Lincolns, excuse me. I have, I don't know what this is. I have two Amana Orange here. I have two Delicious. This one is laying over. I'm gonna try and tuck it, tuck it in here. He might need to be tied up. And then I have two orange Kentucky beef steaks here on the end. And then over here I have some kale and some Swiss chard planted. I did have a baby bunny get in here and eat most of my kale down to the sticks, but it is starting to come back, which is good. The chard he did not touch, so it's looking really great. There is a little tiny teddy bear sunflower back there as well. Okay, now I'm gonna turn around. We're gonna go into the sun and we're gonna go over here to my little seating area because I do have stuff planted over here as well. Over here, right next to this arch, I have some basils, another lavender, and then this panel right here has my cucumbers on it. So I'm doing four varieties of cucumbers this year. I have green dragon here, muncher here, and then over here I have Chinese snake and salt and pepper. I am going to thin these once they get a little bit bigger. On the other side of this panel, I have my sage, a variegated sage. Look at that. And some rosemary. Again, I need to come in and clean this out again and mulch it. Back here, I just have some beautiful petunias in a pot. These are more petunias that are not flowering yet. My strawberry planter looking lush. This is one of my lettuce beds. This kale's looking okay. The lettuces have seen better days. <laughs> uh, this has some more chard in it, and this is arugula that I'm letting go to seed. So I can harvest the seed pods and some more kale. And then here I have eggplants. So I have four eggplants here. Um, they are Black Beauty and Ping Tongue, but I couldn't tell you which is which. And here, oh, I smashed one. Here are my peppers. You can't really see where they are. I realize this is my next project is getting this area mulched. But I have quite a few varieties this year. Oh, I do have them marked, but you can't read the markers because they're dirty. So <laughs> let's see, I have Keystone Bells. I have Atudas. I have Glow, which is the new one for me. I have Shishitos. Um, and I think I have a couple Lemon Spice Jalapenos. And I think that's all I have this year variety wise, but I have like 15 plants in here. I need to come through and clean this out and mulch it and it'll look much better. And then over here I have two of the Aunt Molly's ground cherry plants and these have really taken off and are looking really, really great. So that is our week one garden tour. Um, it is, hopefully that was not a whirlwind. <laughs> um, I, I'm a little overwhelmed by everything I have planted out here, to be honest, <laughs> but I'm also just really excited to see what happens out here this summer. Um, I can't wait to share this with you every week during the garden tours. I <sighs> Garden tour season is back and I am so excited. So. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one.